Hi, I'm Randy Reed, editor of Designing Lighting Magazine, and we are here at the IALD's Enlighten America's Conference, and I'm joined by Claudio Ramos, who just received the fellow IALD designation. Congratulations. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Well, it's a big deal, and tell us a little bit about what it means to you to receive this uh, fellow designation. Oh, uh, it means uh, a lot professionally. It's pretty much a validation for our peers. Um, the College of Fellows, it's a association inside association, pretty much my understanding. Um, and then the association, uh, f the other fellow members of the association and other members of the association nominate you uh, to become a fellow. So then they only nominate you, but then you have to put all the documentation together to become a fellow. You have to, to show exactly, you know, what have you done for the association, what have you done in your career as a designer, what have you done for the public at large as a designer as well, how you contribute to society. It's, it's a mix of things. So then it's a process that you have to put together. And then this process goes to a uh, fellow committee, fellows committee that's going to be approved or reject your, your submission. So then um, after all that work you put together, having that validated, first you're validated by your, the members of your fellow members, and then, then you're validated by this a committee who's going to be evaluating all the documentation you put together. It, it means a lot. I think it, it means that, uh, I would say it's almost like a getting to the Hall of Fame. Yes, yes, I would agree. I think that's a great analogy. How many years have you been a member of IALD? Uh, I've been a member of the IALD since 2004. It's been okay. exactly 20 years. Okay. So 20 years. Tell our audience a little bit about what all you have done to help the uh, IALD. Yeah. Um, well, uh, being a lighting designer, per se, is something that we... It, it, that is a something of like a lack of uh, identity professionally because the line design profession is a profession that it, it is not so uh, easy to explain. Agreed. I'm not sure if my parents understand exactly what I do for a living. <laughs> so, line designer, like people ask you all the time, what do you do as line designer? Uh, well, I do you do theater? Do you do shows? Or do you do lighting products? Like, uh, no, and yes, and no. There are a lot of like it, it's a being a line designer is a conversation starter. Okay. We always like have okay. to explain what you do after you say what you do. Uh, and then becoming a member uh, uh, of the ILG it was something that was lacking for a sense of community inside my profession. And then after I joined it, I felt compelled to uh, really m help the organization to grow, the association to grow. Okay. Uh, and to do that, I just got myself involved. Okay. And since the beginning, I was like, the first thing I could do was to be like, I want to be a, a chapter coordinator of my right. of the ILG. I want to um, I want to uh, put the word out, like right. we are lighting designers to my community in San Francisco. Right. I'm, I'm I'm based in San Francisco, California, uh, and then I worked for actually eight years as a coordinator. And um, after okay. that, I got involved with the membership committee actually. But that's a um, it's a uh, elected position. Okay, right. So I run for the membership committee, which I loved, and I worked for four years at the membership committee. Um, right after that, uh, that was when the CLD, the Certified Line Design uh, Enterprise, right. was going right. in. I wasn't certified yet, but then I I offered myself, I offered myself as a volunteer to be part of it. Um, and then I was start helping to to communicate about this the CLD, what that mean. Exactly right. for the it means for the for the ILD, and I got my certification as. So CLG you were kind of a champion of the program. Uh, I don't know how to find time for that, but I. <laughs> okay, right. I well. just just find work for myself. I can stop. <laughs> so speaking about work for yourself, tell us about maybe your favorite project you ever designed. Oh me! Oh my God! I've done some crazy stuff in the past. Uh, I love my work. Actually, I love the diversity of my work. Okay. I do a bit of residential. I do a lot of commercial office spaces. I've done a huge millionaire yacht project, which I would be, I would say, was the most challenging I've done in my life. I done okay. back in the early 2000s, and it's this billionaire yacht, and it was a crazy work with German engineers okay. uh, in a 138 meters uh, yacht. Yeah, sure. That was that was the one that was more challenging. Uh, but you know, working with you know, like recent work with with you know, Square, we gave uh, Square headquarters. They gave right. me a lot of awards. It was a very right. rewarding project. See, I have some very nice projects recently, and I, what I like, I like the diversity. I do all kinds of things. Okay, well, Claudio, congratulations. Thank you very much. All right.